Lord, I say, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise them up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? If you was going by the Lord's law, you would love your brother, man. Do as the Lord say. And how do you find out to love your brother? By going to this book, man. By learning these laws, man. This is the blueprint of how to treat your brother and your sister. You understand? We learn it from the world, right? How to treat our brother and how to treat our sister. This is why we're sleeping with each other's woman. This is why we're killing each other. This is why we're selling dope to each other because we learn the ways of this, this oppressor, man. This devil, man. He done flooded our neighborhoods with this garbage, man. You go to the neighborhoods, man. You know they look crazy, man. They ran down. You understand that people walking around like zombies. We hate each other. We gritting on each other. We pulling that pistol out on one another. We hate our women, and our women hate us. That's why, man, it's important that we come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, man, and clean ourselves up, man, and come back to this book, man, come back to the most high, man. You understand? To unlearn the ways of this devil that got us bound, man. You understand? Brother smoking, the brother man catching 50 years a damn life sentence for one mistake. You understand? This thing real out here, man. We got to come and change our lives, man, and come and join our brothers, man. Like Uncle Sam used to say, I want you, I need you. We're the commander, the commander general, your honor, man. And the UPK, man, we looking for black, native, and Hispanic Indians, man, that want to come help their people. That want to change their lives, man. That want to get off drugs, you understand? Yeah. That want to learn how to treat their woman so we can have stronger relationships, you understand? To yeah. raise our children up right, you understand? Read, really, brother. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. The word grievous, what does that mean? These commandments are not hard to keep. You understand? These commandments are simple, man. The Most High made it plain and simple for us to keep these simple commandments. And he taught us how to treat and love one another, something that we're lacking so much in the Black, Hispanic, and Native American community. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 2. By this, we know that we love the children of God. That we what? That we love the children of God. That we what? That we love the children of God. By this, we know that we love the children of God. Who are the children of God? You blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics are the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. When we do what? When we love God and keep his commandments. We know that we love each other, man, when we love God and keep his commandments, man. When we keep the Most High's commandments, we know that we love the Most High, and we also know that we love the children of God. You understand? This is why it's important, man, to come back to the blueprint, man. You understand? You can't do nothing without a blueprint. You see here, this beautiful strip that they got here in D.C.? Guess how it was built? From a simple blueprint. You understand? You want to build up a strong structure, 
a strong foundation. You understand? You're going to need the blueprint. And the blueprint ain't what we have been given in this oppressive society. We've been given a blueprint, all right? The blueprint of wickedness. And the blueprint of how to hate each other. And the blueprint of how to ruin our damn lives. You understand? But this blueprint gonna teach you how to fix your life. You understand? And how to get things right in your relationship. And how to raise up your children so they'll grow up being, you know, devils. Oppressing the community. Being terrorizers in the community. Another, you understand? This is what we here for, man. So that we can be better people, man. You understand? You gotta get this thing right, man. Black, Hispanic, Native American in it. But it's okay, we gonna get it right. But we don't got long, man. We don't got long. Your Howard Shad coming back soon, man. With them chairs, man. They beam us up, man. We got to get this thing right. Read the book of John, chapter 13, verse 1. Now, verse 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye one one another, that ye love one another, man. This your Howard Shad Akeem speaking. Commandment he gave to us, man, that we love one another. Not hate one another. Not kill one another. Not say adult to one another. Not argue with one another. But to love one another. That's right. You understand? To love one another. Stop the hate. You understand? Stop the hate. Read, brother. A new commandment that I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. See you how sad love does, man. And we supposed to love each other the same way, you understand? He didn't have to love us. What did I do to deserve for the most high to love me? You say his only son. You did for me. You understand? Or any of us. This is why we got to love one another. So what the brother said something to you you ain't like? Forgive that brother. So what that brother stepped on your toes? What you go for that? You go to that brother, you tell that brother. Bad himself for himself alone. Don't put him on blast. Put him to the side, you understand? Seek the game, your brother. You understand? Talk to that brother, man. You know, a nation divided against itself cannot stand. But a nation that's together can stand and take over the world. Right. You understand? Three. Verse 35. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. How do they know? If ye have one love to another. If you love one another. See? The way that we love one another here in the UPK, man. This how you know that we the disciples, man. This how you know that this way the truth at, you understand? Not in these fake Israelite groups, the goddamn Christian church, the Muslim mosque, and all these other places, you understand? That's right here in the UPK, man. You understand? Matthew 5, 22, verse 22. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 22. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall, shall be in danger of the judgment. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 22, in the red. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. Be angry with your brother, man, without a cause. A letter is angry with our brother, man, without a cause, for no reason. Brother ain't did nothing to you. You mad 
because he got on a little jewelry. You mad because he well dressed. You mad because he pull up in the nice whip. You understand? He had a nice woman on his arm. You understand? He got a nice business going for himself. Yeah, the white man did what he did to us for 400 years, but you ain't mad with him. Right. When you see him, you look the other way. Right. But you want to grin on your brother. That's right. You understand? Right. You want to grin on your brother. Look him all upside his head. Right. Up and down. You understand? You ready to bump the brother and everything, man. You ready to uh, 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 have with this woman. You angry with the brother without a call. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Rakah, shall be in danger of the council. You curse your brother, man. Right. You in danger, man, of judgment. You understand? Whatever you wishing on that brother, it's gonna come back to you. The hate that you got for this brother, it's gonna come back to you. You understand? We out here doing all type of things to each other, man. Backstabbing, man. The brother made the song back in the, in the 70s. You understand? That's what we doing to each other, backstabbing. Right. You know what I'm saying? We done turned into a nation of backstabbers. Instead of loving one another, man. Right. Uplifting one another, man. And that's from the Christian church. Right. And these Christian pastors, man. One of these pastors, y'all trusting these pastors so much in that white Jesus. You understand? One of the pastors, man, he done uh, stepped down from all these many years of preaching and won't tell the sin that he, that he done committed. Eddie Long, my little children, T.D. Jake, running around with Puff Daddy. You understand? This is what, what our people trust in. What this old person gave us, man. Come on from up in Christian churches, man. Right. You understand? Come from out the Christian church. Come from out there, Muslim mosque. All of it is Christianity. Right. All of it is based on lies. Islam is an Arab religion. Christianity is a white man's religion. Right. You understand? Read. Come on, come. But whosoever shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. You curse your brother, man. You're going to be in danger of punishment yourself. Whatever you wishing on your brother, man, it's going to come back to you. It's the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 31. And ye, and as ye, would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. Whatever you want, however you want to be treated, man, you treat a brother the same way, man. All right. You understand? You know how you want to be treated. You understand? Do you want somebody to rob you? Do you want somebody to sleep with your woman? Do you want somebody to lie to you? Do you want somebody to steal? You understand? From you? Then why would you do it to somebody else? You understand? You want somebody to hate on you because you just said, to go out here and do good for yourself? Then why would you sit up there and do that to another brother, man? We got to begin to love one another, man. We can get a lot further in this world if we begin to come together and love one another. And I'm going to tell you, the time is coming that we're going to need one another. And Con, man, what the priest is bringing out is so heavy and so important, man. The reason, why is it that blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans cannot come together? The reason we can't come together as a people is because the Christian church has failed to give us our identity. The Christian church allowed us to go looking for an identity. That's how we ended up being gangsters. That's how we ended up being Democrats and Republicans. That's how we ended up our people in the LGBT community, our people robbing in gangs, in the military, in the Democratic and Republican Party. The Christian church failed to teach what God said we were in the Bible. Black people, we think we Africans. 
We're trying to be a Muslim following the Arabs. We're trying to be Buddhist following the Asians. You're trying to be in an alternative lifestyle following our oppressor because the church failed to give us the identity that God gave us. That's right, that's right. The church lied and told us that God loved everybody, that everybody is the children of God. But the reality is only blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen that's people. Right, right. Our name is Israel according to the Bible. Your name is on these 12 tribes. This is who we really are. When we come back to our identity, we have our high holy days, we have our own language, we have our own diet, we have our own rules, we have our own laws. How many times you went to court and got the short end of the stick from our oppressor's justice system? How many times you went poor and got a poor man's justice? How many times their officers abused and destroyed our community? That's because we haven't served God. The church failed to teach us about God. If they taught us to obey God, God would protect us. God would stop us from getting killed in traffic stops. God would stop our children from being molested by Christian pastors. God would stop drugs from flowing in our community. God would stop brothers from fighting all in the subway station, fighting all after school and on the bus. God would protect our people but we Christians and God don't protect Christians. That's right. We Muslims and God don't protect Muslims. Look at the Palestinians. Yes. Is God protecting Muslims? America bombed Afghanistan for 20 years. Does God protect Muslims? Hell no, we've been lied to, man. Wow. What this brother is teaching us is how we turn back and serve God, man. Your brother is your backup. Your sister is your backup. That's your relief. That's your help. That's your inspiration. That's your strength. That's your future. That's why God said, love your brother as you love yourself. That's right. That's what it says in the Bible, man. Keep driving. That's right. Give that priest a hand, man. Give that priest of the Lord a hand. This is the book of John, chapter 15, verse 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. This is our king speaking, man. And the commandment is that we love one another. Yeah, Babylon is falling.